All right, now raise your hand if you thought, or at least that you were taught, that humanity first started migrating out from Africa thanks to the thawing of the Ice Age. Well, if you're raising your hand, then you, like me, learned wrong. Because according to a new discovery by the Israel Antiquities Authority, ancient fossil records found in the Mislia Cave in Mount Carmel suggest that humanity started moving about a lot earlier than we previously thought possible. All right, and here to tell us a little bit more about what this means, we're joined by Israeli tour guide Anat Harel. Anat, so great to have you with us. What can you tell, tell us about this discovery? Um, so the interesting things about this discovery is that not only is the land of is was the land of Israel an important land bridge between all the different empires in the past, but the land of Israel was also an important land bridge for prehistoric hominids as they crossed into uh, Africa from Africa to Asia and Europe. And what happened is that we used to believe that modern humans um, began in Africa around maybe 500,000 years ago, split into the Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. And about 100,000 years ago, we believed that Homo sapiens sapiens, that are our ancestors, everybody in the world comes from the same family of Homo sapiens. We believed that they crossed into Asia and Europe about 100,000 years ago. Well, it turns out that we were wrong because in Israel, some scientists, as you see, have discovered that they've discovered a jaw from a Homo sapiens sapien, that's a modern human being, in a cave in the Carmel Mountains that is about 200,000 years old. What is it doing there? It was found in the same layer as some very, very tiny rodents that we've that, that that their fossils show that they lived in very very cold weather in the wow. ice age of about 200,000 years ago what is a modern human jaw doing there it turns out that we missed because now we know that our modern humans homo sapiens sapiens came through the land bridge that is the land of israel about 100,000 years before what we thought um, so about 200,000 years ago it takes back the crossing into the land bridge about 100,000 years uh, further back, which is really exciting. And that, that is so cool. I'm so glad that you, that you were here to join us and to explain some of that. Thank you so much for joining us again. You are welcome.